Okay, so I'm going to make this video as quick as possible just to show you how this is done. So if you're in a predicament like me, um, this is my buddy's guitar. He bought this. He bought some Duncan Solars from someone off of uh, Reverb. And I was like, yeah, dude, I can totally help you wire it up because it comes like this, normal uh, Duncan wiring. But we pack, we cracked open the back and it has uh, like a circuit board and pins. Which I was like, okay, that's fine, but it's just going to take me a second longer to do this. So, um, if you see this and you're like, oh crap, this is not what I was expecting, don't be alarmed. Um, these are quick connects in there. They're labeled bridge and neck. And then these cables are also labeled um, bridge and neck. And so what you have to do is go on eBay or wherever and get you some Gibson quick connects. And they look like this. They're five pin um, quick connect, and as you can see here, I got all my pins, uh, and they're all laid out to the specified colors, uh, or at least this one that I got off e eBay, um, is, but they're all laid out to the Gibson colors here, uh, except blue is the ground in this situation, so basically what I'm gonna have to do is wire these ends to the Seymour in the fashion, and I'll put up the wiring diagram, uh, in the video here, um, but you're just going to wire those up and then swap out the pickups just like you normally would and then plug this bad boy in and that's it. Um, I'm going to show you the wiring diagram because that's a really important part. If you're doing uh, Seymour Duncans to Gibson, this has the Gibson color scheme and that's the Seymour Duncan color scheme. So uh, yeah, that's really it. It's that simple. Just wire them up together, solder the ends so that way they stay connected. And make sure to cover each of these connections as they touch. Um, you know, heat shrink the ends. Like this kit came with heat shrinks for each individual wire. So make sure you do so that way they're not touching within there if they're the same length because then they'll short out. So you really want to make sure you're not shorting these out. Anyway, that's all. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so the last thing I'll leave you with is if you want to make sure you wired it up correctly, um, which I always recommend testing your work before saying you're good. Um, I did go ahead and uh, shrink wrap these, but, you know, whatever, it's fine. I'm pretty confident in myself. <laughs> um, but I have it plugged in. I have a high gain setting on. Um, and the way you can test it is just have it plugged in, high gain setting on, and then you can actually just tap on the pickup. And if you're hearing stuff like that, that is a good sign. That means that they're working. So that is all.